Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know, don't you? We have to discuss this. That's right. Just like you seem to be. Come on. Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. I agree. No matter how one attempts to rationalize it, my release is extremely unusual. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. Let's say we join forces on this. I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? Have you made up your mind? Allow me to remind you that we are equals in this endeavor, understand? Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after... parting ways with me in Shido's palace? I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now, and, uh... I don't really understand what I'm seeing, but I'm just going to describe it to you. It's that building. It's really faint. But I can see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. Senpai, I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? I understand. I'll see you soon. That was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word palace. Despite not being in the metaverse. You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? We just happened to be together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. 
Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um. Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seemed to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, it's... I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check? Ah, there's one search in the log, but... Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? That settles it. All right. Let's do it. Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it. True outfit. Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa-san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out. I should write something.
Now, let us depart. Geysers, you aren't among those who desire salvation. Leave! You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? <laughs> Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. It's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. I'll catch you, son. Now, time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. Persona! I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Especially considering the last-minute arrangement of our team and all. Uh, Yoshizawa-san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. Show me your true form! Oh! 
We've got them surrounded. Let's dance! Show them, Sondrion! Good! One got knocked out. It's all Keep you. Keep going. Persona! <laughs> I love it! Okay. Cognitive effects are... It's a safe... Let's do it. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> That was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? But how was this video? <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. What could this room be? Uh, 
You seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Ah, uh, I'm fine. It's just that... I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. You are misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. <laughs> A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. Calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it. Time your attacks with mine. Uh, right. Come. There. Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh? Shizawa-san? Your... I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now! We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. Head on down. 